the network. Bow. What's up, everybody? It's Brand Man Sean, and I had to do a little sit down so I could answer a few. Uh, pertinent questions when it comes to artists running TikTok campaigns. So here they are, right? There's quite a few issues I'll tackle. I'll probably two or three main ones. Number one, the debate. Should I or should I not upload my music through the official library and then run it that way when I'm trying to run a campaign or I want it to go viral? Or should I upload it natively as a sound? Either way it goes, how do I get my music on TikTok? You can do it both, right? Distro Kid allows you to do that. Uh, one RP, there's there's so many distributors and almost everybody is probably going to allow you to distribute through TikTok at some point. I know one of our clients, all of a sudden, AWOL, right? Because he's an AWOL client. AWOL uh, has put all of their clients' music on TikTok. You have a sound, so he didn't have to do it individually. Next thing you know, all of his sounds were on TikTok. Sounds cool, but what's the issue? One, artists need to understand the difference between vanity and what's going to work for them. Verification, uh, official library, all these things, they sound good, but a lot of times they're vanity and they don't necessarily make a, a difference when it comes to results. So in this particular situation, artists don't understand a lot of times that uploading your music natively as a sound, as opposed to being in the official library, it works. It works just as good as being an official sound in the library as of now. Why? Well, first, let's consider when the artists that have gone viral on TikTok in the past, of course, we know about the little Nas X's and blah, 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 all those people, right, that have gone viral thus far or got good results thus far through TikTok. Initially, it was only a regular sound, right? You couldn't create an official sound through a music library that th those distributor deals weren't necessarily in place at a certain point. So how did people find their music? The same way they're finding their music now. They hear it, it's named correctly, and then they go find it, they Google it, they Spotify it, they Apple Music it, and they find the music. Right now, it's still vanity to be through the official library. Why? Because it's not counting towards streams yet like it does on Triller right um or it, it is not being it's, it's not doing anything for you statistically it's just cool that it could be in the the official music library artists are getting plenty of results just being uploaded as an irregular sound why is this so relevant one because it's a headache currently through distributors like distrokid um tunecore and so many of these people to get the right sound changed right and when i say the right sound is not necessarily your song. It's the best part of your song that needs to be on TikTok because sometimes they might take 15 seconds, some of them take 60 seconds. And even in that 60 seconds, it might not be the most TikTokable part of your song. You wanna make sure the best part of your song is the part that really starts to um, be pushed on TikTok because it has the best chance for getting seen by more people, being created to, and inspiring more people to not only create to it, but go find it to listen to, right? So make sure that you have the best song, part, best parts of your song on TikTok and that you dictate how it gets placed so people can be, can easily find that part of their song. So again, being in the official library is not necessarily the best thing in the world, even if you have it in the official library, the part that you might want to pay influencers for and pushing your campaign might be the best part of your song, right? So you upload that as, an, uh, as a regular sound and name it correctly is in the library. They're not using that song. They're using this thing that you upload. Keep this in mind because look, I've seen from spending $1,000 to $10,000 with clients that putting it as official sound gets real results. I mean, well, yeah, when I say official sound, I mean an uploaded sound, it gets real results. You don't have to be a sound in the library. Keep that in mind. And the results are not different right now. That, that's even more important. The results are not different. It's more about the song, not necessarily how you're doing it and doing it that other way through the official distributors also creates an issue because it takes time for them to update it. Um, 
not only are they putting the wrong parts to the sound, if you ask them to change it because you say, hey, I actually want this part, it takes them some time. And it's a headache emailing back and forth. Trust me, it is a headache. I have clients right now that their campaign should have started three weeks ago, literally three weeks ago and hasn't because they've been going back and forth trying to get the distributor to update the sound. And it's annoying. I want to just upload the sound regularly, but the client has the route that they want to go. Right. So keep that in mind. Like it's not all easy when you're dealing with these influ um, these distributors and when you make something a uh, official through their libraries, you want to hope that it's the best thing because trying to make a change is probably not going to happen or it'll be a very long time before it happens. Another thing to consider is do not put your I don't, actually I want to restate this. Do not reach out to influencers, right, for your campaigns before you have the money. Why is this so relevant? TikTok is changing very fast. TikTok is changing very fast. I can only say it so many times. It's changing very fast. It's changing very fast. If you're reaching out to an influencer, but you don't have the money for a month from now, their rate has likely changed because they're growing fast or they're just starting to deal with other people who are paying more money and you're going to lose out. You're going to start to budget around an agreement that doesn't exist anymore. Also, it's best, right? You have the money, as soon as they agree, bam, you make it happen. You pay them, it's done, you ask them to post whenever you need them to post and keep moving from there. I'm not gonna even go deep into it, but that is, that's pretty much it. That is the gym. You will find if you have done this and you actually are running campaigns, not people who think, oh, this kind of advice is fluff. If you understand that you run campaigns, you will understand the value of just making sure you have all of your money before you reach out to these influencers. There's so many headaches to come out with it, not just the fact that their price is changing, but it's hard to even get some of them to look at their DMs again and answer your call again or, or email again. Getting out to them once is the opportunity that you want to take advantage of versus it's just like a, having one song and somebody finds out about you and you have nothing else. It's very much the same concept. While you have attention, maximize. Because a lot of these influencers, their DMs are getting flooded and they said yes to you, but now all of a sudden they started 20 other conversations and they're going to forget about your campaign. They're going to forget they even talked to you, right? And some of them even delete past conversations. So those agreements don't stand anymore they can act like they never spoke to you and said that this this fee was the fee keep those things in mind one it doesn't do anything necessarily right now right now I'll let you know when that changes to upload through the official library versus uploading as just any kind of random song sound and then also make sure you have your money right before you reach out to these influencers that simple those are some TikTok tips and why, right, some reasoning behind why those TikTok tips are important for artists trying to get their music going on TikTok. Because, last but not least, actually, I'll know it, I'll do that in a whole nother video. I'll do it another time. So, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. It's the Matt way. Oh. Thank <laughs> you.